the Berlin Airlift, the biggest airlift in history. Dateline Germany, 1948. Hoping to drive his Western adversaries out of Berlin, Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin orders his troops to cut off all access to the city. Blocked by land and sea, the Allies respond from the sky with the most massive airlift in history. On June 26, 1948, a fleet of U.S. Air Force C-47s carries 80 tons of food into Berlin. This landmark airlift is but the first of what will become a mammoth mission of mercy. They airlifted cargo to keep the population alive, to give the population um, resources, energy. Um, Two-thirds of all the cargo that was brought over was coal because the Soviets had shut off the electricity supply to the western parts of the city. Obviously, during the winter, this was a particular problem. The operation is soon joined by the U.S. Navy and the British Royal Air Force. With these added reinforcements, Operation Vittles kicks into high gear. On Easter Sunday, April 16, 1949, the Allies organize the Easter Parade, an airlift that will be the dramatic climax of Operation Vittles. Over a frenetic 24-hour period, American and British planes touch down and lift off every 30 seconds. The Allies deliver an astounding 12,940 tons of cargo, including enough coal to fill 1,100 rail cars. The scale was completely unprecedented in the history of military operations. The Easter airlift is a crushing blow to the Soviet blockade, rendering the operation futile. In the face of Western resolve, the Soviet Union officially ends the blockade on May 12, 1949. The final tally of the airlift is astonishing. Operation Vittles lasted an incredible 15 months, from June of 1948 to September of 1949. By the end, American and British pilots had flown 92 million miles on 277,000 flights delivering nearly 2.3 million tons of supplies. Simply put, the biggest airlift in history. On each mission, the planes of the Berlin airlift flew several hundred miles into hostile territory, all for the sake of salvation. But for the sake of money and precious garments, even the ancients would travel much, much further.